All right, good evening, Earth signs. We are here on the Soul Sister Minor channel. And this is Stephanie. We're here to do your weekly read. This has actually been really good this week. And uh, last week, you guys, all of uh, the reads were a little challenging. Um, the air signs and water signs were really bad last week. But uh, we started out this week good. Yeah, we started out real nice. So I'm excited. I'm excited. This is good news for all you guys. Yeah. Now, if you guys have any water sign, air sign, energy, you feel we want to watch those, go back. Because those, those readings are like connected. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Alright, so remember, like, subscribe, and share. And hit the bell button or you won't get the um, notifications for when I'm uploading. So, alright. So, Shuffling had a bunch of, um, when I was doing the moon cards and the starseed cards, um, a bunch of stuff fell out. So, I just like picked it up, threw it on the table. We'll go through it. Just gotta light it up how it folds up. But then I shuffle the other cards. So, I opened start out with the romance angels and we have you deserve love okay or signs you guys sure do i love our signs i love i love all the signs really but i love earth signs i really do my oldest son's an earth sign okay so four of swords though on the bottom of this deck that we're going to be using after i shuffle so something's going, been going on behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then angel number cars came out on top is number 14. I'm practical. Okay. We'll go back over that. Then I've got another deck to clarify bottom of that deck is Scorpio energy death transformation so let's see what these star seed cards and the moon cards that'll give us a, a clue on got some awakenings going on here some dark night of the souls so release control oh, first quarter moon in Taurus okay there you guys you're in your own read Okay, another Virgo energy. Assess the situation. Release control. Assess the situation. Major Earth energy. And then we've got more Earth energy over here. I mean, sorry, water. New Moon in Pisces. Attuned to the divine. Hmm. And we've got some Aries energy. Full Moon energy your emotions okay um the air signs had this too oh sorry trust the universe aquarius energy trust the universe someone is not seeing the bigger picture saggy energy okay this came out in reverse someone's not seeing the bigger picture and step into your own power more inner inner energies uh, it's Aries and Mars energy, okay? Step into your power. Take action. Spring forward. Okay. Weight of the world. Somebody is feeling like the weight of the world is on them, okay? So this is where you need to put some boundaries down so then you can let go of some of that weight that you're feeling. You need to delegate, okay? Do some delegating. Um, it's not yours to carry. Let it go. God, guys, I'm sorry. Whew. All right. Lifting the veil. Ooh, got some stuff going on. Definitely some awakening stuff here. Okay. Questioning everything. Anything aligned must go. Someone's pulling their head out. Way to go, Earth Science. Yeah. Okay. 
perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out. Common ground. Okay. You got the love. Okay. Hedarian energy. Codependency and boundaries. Okay. Questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. Okay. Somebody's really cleaning the closet, taking out the garbage. Or the garbage could be walking itself right out. Empathic starseed. Energetically, severity, absorbing what's not yours. Okay? Stop absorbing what's not yours. Quit taking on things that, don't, that are not yours to take on. I just heard sink or swim. That was written on my paper, too cracked open oh boy yep this isn't somebody's oh i'm so sorry somebody one of you guys is in a major 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 oh i've had this card and when this hit me oh i needed bubble wrap hard hat you name it yeah, so something major is going on. Someone's got literally cracked open. That happened to me. Like, I got cracked open. Concussion. Broke my nose. I mean, pfft. rock bottom. Surrender to the alchemy of life. So somebody's hitting rock bottom, and they're falling apart, okay? Someone may have suffered an injury or a sickness, but something has been going on. Behind the scenes, someone is going to need strength. Okay? Alright. Let's see what kind of a story we got going on here. We got a Queen of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Well, that explains this cracked up, and yeah, it's not going nowhere. Nope. Holding on way too tight to something and something she's messing around and playing with has been reversed. Hey, I, I keep warning people this moon cycle. Oh boy, of course. Keen of cups in reverse. So we got a keen and queen of cups in reverse. Okay, so we got a we got a couple here. I wonder if it's our Bonnie and Clyde. We haven't seen them out for a while. Woo! Queen of Swords upright. All right, what else we got here? Ooh, high Priestess energy, but somebody. So this uh, King and Queen of Cups is not listening to their higher selves. So cycle over. End of story. I just heard time out. All right. So that explains, oh boy, the death and transformation. Lift it up, split the deck. There's the old devil. Ooh, look at him. Ugh, I hate this devil in this deck. He's scary. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> he wants to come forward. Duh. Mm-hmm. Somebody walked away, though. Yeah, look at that. Heartbroken. King of Pentacles. All right, so spirit. Let's see. Is this King of Pentacles our little devil? Or is this the King of Cups and Queen of Cups in reverse spirit? Which is it? Hmm. Who's a devil in disguise? Oh, I just heard they're not in disguise anymore. And when I split the deck, it was choices and spirit. So, all right, let's see. Tell us about this devil. Is it devil energy or is it the king of cups? Or is it a devil? Is it the king of the devil? Or is it just devil energy? For, is it the king of cups? What do we have? Hmm. We got a tower coming. That's not shocking. 
Alright. Well, there's no love. No love. No partnership here. Somebody's in hangman energy. There's a star here. Aquarius energy. Sagittarius energy. Um, we have earth energy because they we got the oh sorry that's not the king of cups it's the knight of pentacles so that's uh, you guys that's your energy Taurus Virgo or Capricorn then we have the devil here so I I think this knight ooh, we got judgment judgment page of sword ooh ooh. I just heard mentally disturbed. Ah! Okay. Oh, King of Pentacles. Well, you did have a soulmate, but there's a tower coming. So. What, Maggie's? Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Go sit down. Get your. Go get your. Go get your horn. Go get your horn. She won your horn. Last video for the night, girl. Oh, no. Get off my papers. Okay. So. Whoa. There are some crazy. All right. Come on. All right. Let's see something. So. King of Pentacles is trying to come back in, but he's really immature. He's he's a major, major liar. He's going to come in and be so on the Six of Cups energy, past life energy. You're the star. I want new beginnings with you. You're amazing. I didn't see what I should have seen before. Please take me back. I'll kiss your ass. I'll kiss your feet. I'll wipe them. I'll brush your hair, I'll cook you breakfast, I'll put, cook you dinner, I'll sex you up, or whatever, I mean, this is the energy, this is, a, he's really in night energy, but he's going to come in appearing like the king of pentacles, but he is really underneath all of this, the devil, okay, so I have this crazy notion that this king and queen of cups here is because uh, there's a tower coming there, there there's a tower coming because there's been a lot of lies yes 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 and there's little um what i call there's little dwarfs running around doing little favors for this king of cups ah megan <laughs> king of cups and this uh, queen of cups and I, I just have this really weird feeling they're all intertwined. Mm-hmm. Because we do have a couple out there. Um, one is an air sign. And one is a earth sign. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We call them Bonnie and Clyde. They know who they are. I know who they are. They just, they're like herpes. They just never, ever, ever, ever go away. And they don't know when to get a clue or when they should be scared. So, I have a feeling they're back. She's traveled the whole Zodiac, so she had to take a break for a while. All right. <clears throat> Somebody cannot get messages out. No, 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 no. Somebody's hiding. They want to. They want to. Yeah. But they can't. Yeah, they want ten of cups, man. They want ten. They want their ten of cups. New beginning. Like I said. Somebody wants their ten of cups here. But so far. Oh, well, here you go. Wasn't very smart to use this last moon cycle when it um, in 
accompanied a retrograde and a solar eclipse. Hmm, yeah. Well, there's no love here. This is twice now, two of cups in reverse. That's come out twice now, yeah. This is the sneaky behavior, the behind the scenes, the scandals, the, the stalking, the fake accounts, the, the identity theft. I mean, this is like burglaries, premeditated, all kind of, I, it's stuff on, we've been, it's, it's been coming up for the longest time. You guys know if you've been watching. I'm so sick of it. <sighs> somebody's a liar. This is twice now too. Yeah, somebody's a liar. Somebody does not want to tell the truth. So the, there's only one person in this whole thing that's upright. That knows what's going on. And she is not going anywhere. Queen of Cups. Okay? Alright. So She's got new beginnings coming. Okay? Tell us more about this. I mean, I said Queen of Cups, right? No, it's the Queen of Cups and King of Cups in reverse. That... Alright, Spirit. Is our Bonnie and Clyde couple back on board? Is our Bonnie and Clyde couple back on board? Are they involved in this? Yeah, of course they are. Earth energy just came out. Hermit. The light is going to be exposed on them. I said one of them, he is a earth sign. The other, she is a water, I mean, an uh, air sign, excuse me. They're both in um, late, mid to late 30s now. This Bonnie and Clyde couple. One has blonde hair, one has dark brown hair. The female does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, party over. This is broke the fun meter, people. Had way too much fun. Can't even remember half of it. Don't know what happened. This is waking up, not knowing where you are. Looking at the person next to you going, what in the hell? And who are you? That's what that is. Yeah. This is in reverse six of cups. This is the home life. This is the happy love, the family love. This is like your true love, your soulmate energy. This is pure love. This is good love. Mm-hmm. Ace of Wands in reverse. So I I mean they they're just full of it. They're full of it. They're full of it. They're full of it. The, it. the battle's over, though, okay? And this was over passion. This is this is three-party situationships, cheating, lying, conniving. It, it's coming out. It's being exposed. Yeah. Knight of Swords is coming in now. Okay, that's air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is somebody that wants to come in. Yeah, they, they something happened really bad. Look. It's under the moon cycle. This dude coming in. This is immature energy, though. Or this is a teenager. But if not, this is very fast communication. Coming in. To tell the truth. Spill the beans. And then get the hell out of there. There's, the, there's like... There, there's no money is going backwards, 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 backwards. The battle is over. Somebody is, is like laying down, does not want to change because of that. They are not getting They're They're not no pentacles. Zero, zero. Doesn't want to change. <clears throat> so we got a knight of swords, king of swords and a hermit. Okay. So now we've got another couple here, King and Queen of Swords. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Use this one. All right, Spirit. Come on, Meg. Okay, Spirit. Clear out, please. Oh, let's get it in here. Let's clear out. Smoke. Incense. This Palo Santo, so protective, clearing. Alright. Alright, Spirit. Is my name Stephanie Vegas?
Okay, clear out, please. Thank you. All right. Is the king and queen of cups that's in reverse, my Bonnie and Clyde couple spirit? It's the king and queen of cups, my Bonnie and Clyde couple spirit. Okay, thank you. Keen, I mean, this keen and queen of swords that are upright. Are they another Bonnie and Clyde couple? No. So you're saying the couple I mentioned that are in their late 30s, mid 30s, blonde hair, brown hair, they are the problems behind the scenes that have been going on for the last couple of years now. Thank you. They're the human traffickers. Okay. Say no more. I don't know. Their energy is low, though. I can like they, they don't have the energy that they used to have. Yeah, they don't have the energy. So, all right, we're at twenty only one minute. <sighs> Who cares about them? So just now, there's a scary couple out there. They're scammers. Um, just don't talk to people you don't know. And watch all your emails. Watch your text messages. Anybody that friends you, okay? Hangman again, but this time, oh, the King of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so we got the Knight of Cups in reverse, and then King of Pentacles in reverse. We got Eight of Swords energy, and we got the Hangman, but the Hangman's been cut out of the tree. And somebody has been in a dark night of the soul. So, this King of Pentacles. Who's here? Okay. In the reverse. Look at that. Knight of Cups energy, too. Okay. been cut out of the tree and that was because <laughs> I just heard he also got cracked open spirit cut him out of the tree forced him into the dark night of the soul now he's depleted down to this knight of cups he was the king of cups in reverse but this after going through this dark night of the soul spirit says this person had to be forced they were cut out of the tree okay cut cut they didn't want to change. They wanted to stay stuck in hangman energy, never making a decision, doing the old routine, the same thing over and over, okay? All right, what else, Spirit? Ooh. Ooh. High Priest. Someone's a, I heard a fake here. I keep getting this. Yeah, it's, it's this Bonnie and Clyde couple that are with the human trafficking thing. They they run around portraying to be this person, okay? High integrity, lots of wisdom, spiritually balanced, highly religious. This person goes to church every Sunday, then goes home and partakes of things that they've chained up in their basement. Human beings, animals, you name it. Then they sit under this moon energy and do crazy shit. Hmm, let me find that other card. Hold on. Huh. Then they do this kind of stuff under the moon. See that? Not good. 
No, no. That's that person. They're in reverse. They're getting their ass kicked. Spirit has stepped in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles here. Justice. So. Hmm. This um, King of Wands, I mean, King of um, Pentacles in reverse that's turned himself into a, a Knight of Cups in reverse. Now he's down to a Page of Wands in reverse. Okay? This is somebody, oh, very sick in the head. Very, 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 very sick. This person should not be left alone with children. It's on, I, I'm not, I can't even go there. Okay? They will pretend they are so... <laughs> this isn't an adult. These are adults. But they get in this page energy to manipulate youngsters underage to do things they ought not be doing. Yep. Three-party situation. There, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I don't like this energy at all. Justice is coming. There's somebody back here. It's Queen of Pentacles energy. She's boss energy. She's going to bring in justice. I heard <clears throat> she's backing up something with money. To bring, to bring justice forward. Yep, then I look down. <laughs> After I say that, this totally makes sense now. See that? <laughs> There's been some crazy stuff going on behind the scenes. This Queen of Pentacles knows, though. Yeah, she knows. She knows. Money. King of Wands energy. There was a celebration. The wheel's turning. Queen of Cups is up right now. So Spirit is telling me this Queen of Cups is the Queen of Swords upright. Because we have the King and Queen of Swords that are upright. So that's who she, that's who she is. Yeah. So she's balancing her emotions. But she can stand her ground. And she has her boundaries set up. Yes, yes. Balancing out their money. Okay. So somebody's been working hard on themselves. They've healed from a broken heart. They've healed from a broken heart. Yep. There was a ginormous battle. I just heard Battle of the Beast. Well, battle of the Beast. So now, we've got the Queen of Wands energy here. So, this Queen of Swords... Has, has, take, has been taking this spiritual journey. And she's been, she's starting to master the different queens now. Okay? She's also mastered Queen of Swords. Then she went to Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands energy. We got the Queen of Pentacles out here. So she's mastered all four of the queens. Ha <laughs> ha, be surprised the Empress pops out. Whoa. Victory! Yes! Look at this, Earth Science. Woohoo! Listening to your intuition, gaining knowledge. This is hidden knowledge, too, okay? And this can be authority figures as well. But in this card, this is a, this is a hidden knowledge. Hidden knowledge, tapping in, because you got cracked open. Yep. There's a partier. There's our party here. 
Yep, there's the partier in the background. Wanting to peek his head back out. Oh, yeah. See? Whenever this card comes up, I... Oh, yeah. This accompanies it somewhere along the line. Because this is just somebody that... This is somebody that goes to the bar every night. Party, party, go to work, party, go to work, party, go to work, party. This is somebody that has... Starts from the beginning of the morning when they get up, sends out that group text message to all his hoes. Gets his hoes lined up for the day, for the week, for the night, whatever. This person... They'll sleep in their car, they'll sleep on anybody's couch, the bar, who was ever closed, their toothbrush, their what, whatever. That's, that's this person. Mm-hmm. Yep. Two wands, choices. They know the right choice. Somebody's stuck, though. Somebody is stuck. Someone is stuck. Somebody is stuck. Why is somebody stuck? This is taking a strange turn, too. Mmm. They got a broken wand. That's why they're stuck. They're waiting on money, but they're stuck. They're waiting on money. They're waiting on money. Waiting on money. See this? Okay, that's stuck. This is stuck energy. This is money. But. <laughs> this is fire in your pants. Fire in your pants energy. No love. Oh, no. I wonder if my whatchamacallits were on fire. Yeah. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Someone is being forced. This is plans. They went wrong. Yeah. With the page of cups and page of wands energy out here. Oh, my. Oh, no. Page of coins in reverse. Okay. This is now... Somebody doesn't have a strength. All right, th this, this, this is now. I don't, I don't know. I don't like this now. I don't like this at all now. Oh, um. All right. I don't like this. I want to clarify this though, because I don't want to leave this on what this could be. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. Let's clear this back out again. All right, Spirit, Holy White Light, bring in the correct answers for the collective that they need. Calibrate this is my name, Stephanie Vigas. Okay, clear out, please. I have a lot of page energy up here, Spirit. Is this page energy children, underage children that are being harmed and hurt? Oh my god, no. Oh, really? <sighs> Cry out, Spirit. Are you sure, Spirit, that this is children? And this is not adults that are acting immature? Yes. All right. Well, I don't want to go any further because now this makes me sick. But there's there's a lot of good here and there's a lot of bad. So let's just do this. Oh, I'm going to mix these two days. Just for fun. Why not? All right, Spirit. Tell me, between these two decks, are they going to get caught? Ha! Huh. As soon as I open it, are they going to get caught? This is the trickery. This is the fuckery. This is the BS. And that's a yes. They're fools. They're losing everything. They're losing everything. The deal with this B, it's over. Nine of Wands. Huh. It's all the options out in the open. No, 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 no. New beginnings for these people. 
They don't want to tell the truth. They want to keep lying, but the truth is coming out. Tower. All right. I don't want to do any more than that. I want to change the energy. That's just... Oh, Lord. They're back. All right, guys. Earth signs. If you are any involved in this, get away from it. Get away from it because this thing's going to blow up. It's bigger than any of you can even imagine. This thing has been... There's a bunch of us that have tapped into this. We're all tapping into different ones, but they're happening. This one's happening. So, um, oh, oh, uh, this one's in Utah. So th this one, this, this, this needs to end. The children need to get help. Okay. Like I said, there's good here. There are some people figuring some things out. And there's some people going through some wakings. There's more than one situation here, you guys. You picked up on all of it. I don't want to go forward with it anymore because it's I'm this is just a lot, okay? Oh Megan. Self-love, okay? I just grabbed this deck. Self-love, okay? Show me how to love myself. Show me. How to take care of the inner child. Show me how to be kind within. When you step into well, to self-forgiveness, so much can change <clears throat> on the outside. True offering, okay? This is, may I release the fears, illusions, and addictions that keep me from true offering. May I relax into your plan, trusting that the next step will always be shown. Use me, love me, use me for the highest. I am yours alone. Hardship. Okay? May I embrace what's happening right now. As baffling or painful as it is, help me, God, to trust where you are guiding me. I am yours. Okay. Those are the Ganesh. Yes, Megan. Megan's getting crazy. Okay. Let's do the messages and then we're going to close this out. All right. Jelly roll, self-medicated. Jelly roll. Um, oh, no. Yeah, self-medicated. Angel number 112. Uh, Cliff High, look him up. He's in my playlist. He's podcast. Great stuff. Um, the band Switch, I Call Your Name. Bon Jovi, Living on a Prayer. Jason Aldean, Yo Mama. Okay. Someone forgot to cut the grass. Now you're surrounded by snakes. This definitely applies to you guys. <laughs> yeah. Do not get off your throne for anyone. Do not. Project. I mean, uh, look up Project Paperclip. Project Monarch. Project Mockingbird. MK Ultra Sub Project 68. Max Spears. Okay, guys. There's people... As in this reading, as in the last, you're playing around with things you ought not be, and you're too dumb to do it during a Mercury retrograde with a solar eclipse and a new moon. <laughs> you're just asking to kick your own self's ass. I, I don't understand, but hey. <laughs> and you obviously don't know spiritual ranking at all, because if you did, you would never go up against these people you keep going up against. Okay, Elton John, Cold Heart, Elton John, Rocket Man, Thompson Twins, Hold Me Now, okay, um, Brian Adams, Summer of 69, Jason Aldean, The State I'm In, someone says, I will keep your love safe in my heart, it's beautiful, uh, oh, BGs, You Should Be Dancing, uh, angel number 999, angel number 1717, Steve Miller Band, The Joker, uh, Marshall Tucker Band, Can't, Can't, oh, Can't You See, sorry, got my glasses on, Hotel California, Jelly Roll, Bad Bitch, Struggle Jennings, Angel, Willie Nelson, Dusty Bottle, Never Let Your Fear Decide Your Fate. Somebody is a receptionist and a bank teller. We have a director, a marketing manager, 
a specialist. Um, I heard when I was told to write it down, like um, this person works at like a good earth, um, wild oats, you know, any like those, the health food stores. Okay. Uh, Delta Force, the farm. Level 10, Klingon. Somebody has been having their own Jerry Springer show going on right in their own life, in their own house, in their own bedroom. And now they have involved a million, a bunch of different people that ought not got involved. So, stop letting these people dumb you down. You can't afford to lose any more brain cells. Hello? Okay. Uh, what else do we got here? The, the, the name Troy, the name Mitchell. Um, I already did those, didn't I? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I had a bunch more names. Where'd they go? Oh, Brad, Billy, David, Susan, Shepard, Hamilton. Your perceived flaws or your superpowers. The Night Stalkers. Somebody is sinking and they're not swimming and they are in fight fight and flight mode. Okay? Don't be a blame shifter. Be an energy changer. There's a bunch of hoes out there selling their hooches. Uh, if I am too much for you, go find less. Oh, look. The garbage took itself out. Open your ears and not your mouth don't be that person that has the broken foot and gives your crutches away and then bitches about it okay and don't be thirsty for another man's attention or woman's it takes a big heart to open a small mind let it go so it can grow the name langley the name jessica um the name laura the name Ange. The name Patty, the name Penelope, the name Cruz, the name Pat, the name Patricia, the name Samson, the name Lee, the name Libby, the name Gabby, the name Gabe, Gary, Louise, um, Shaneka, 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 yeah. Uh, Seth Gunnison, Stephen, Parker, Ross, Morris, Mandy, Genesis, Grace, Owen, Owens, Glenda, Claire, Herman, Rex, and Eli. And we have a stripper and an escort out there um, that need to be more, they're, they're very concerned about somebody and like trying to destroy that person's life. And Spirit keeps trying to show them that they need to be more concerned about their young children at home that they're ignoring to try to take someone down that they're never going to defeat. So you need to to whoever you women are, you need to spend more time not gang stalking, trying to create um, chaos and conflict for 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 people that you don't even know is what I'm being told that you don't even know. Complete waste of time. You are just ranking up karma after karma that you are not even going to be able to come out from under, and you're so busy doing this, ignoring your kids, you might end up losing your kids. Yeah, these are young kids too. These are young kids, so you might want to pay attention, okay? All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, angel number 232. It's the, it's the twin flame number, number of the dog, ascended master number two, okay? So use this number. It helps you stay focused, get in your life purpose, um, helps you grow, see all the possibilities out there. Uh, you Helps you work with, like, energy. <sighs> Alright, the name Mary Ann, the name Annie, and the name Searle and Belinda, and the name Michael, the name Leo, too, okay? Alright, guys, that is it. So, take away the good out of this read. There was some rough information, a couple scenarios go on, what didn't resonate... Throw it away. Ignore it. Um, but the message is in here that you know are meant for you. A bunch of you are going through a bunch of stuff. But it is coming out better than you thought. In fact, 
before we end this, let's just remember, you guys are magical, okay? If you are going backwards right now, you can turn it around. You, you can totally turn it down. You have the power within you. I know, I know, I know you do. Okay? You got number, angel number 10 I'm looking at here, right here. I'm ingenu ingenious, okay? You have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and allows you to dream up ingenious ideas and organize all the details, okay? signs you guys are super ingenuous okay you guys are magical too we got the number 14 out here too i am practical which or signs are practical you are open-minded and always up to try to something new yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into the next thing this is pragmatic approach helps Ensure your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful, okay? So, start writing number 10 down, I'm ingenuous. Number 14 down, I am practical. And romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, okay? So, uh, mm -hmm. see, it's going end good. There's just stuff that has to come up to be careful about and to know. These people may try to tap into your life. Some of you may have gotten involved with these people, okay? True love and reconciliation is on board you. Someone from your past is returning to your life, okay? Then we have true love. So this is your true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Yeah. And you got the romantic feelings. Your feelings are worth exploring. See, see, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, healing family issues. This popped out in the reverse. Somebody has worked through healing their family issues. This is excellent. Woohoo! score you your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so somebody has gone through this they've leveled up okay religious factors was in the reverse this is not a problem anymore Who, whoever thought that this was a problem before has realized this is not the big picture of the religion the relationship is the religious factors are a part of it you don't live you, you have a relationship with somebody if you if you turn that relationship into it's the and this is my opinion so this is just mine but in my world because i, I my first marriage my first husband wanted to go back um because he was born and raised lds and he wanted to go back to that and i was like okay that's fine but i'm not gonna non-denominational um, I'm spiritual, but I'm not religious, and I'm not I'm not going to be to. But if you want to, I'll support it. I'll be there when I need to be, when it's important. But I'm not going with you every week, and I'm this is not going to be my life. Um, so it it was a factor in our divorce, um, unfortunately. But my parents, my mom got baptized. I've said it before. She's she's Catholic. My dad non non denominational like me. But their marriage is fine because it was about their marriage. I don't personally, like I said, my personal opinion. I personally don't believe that your spirituality or your religion should take over any of your relationship. It should add to it. It shouldn't take away. And if it becomes too much, then you lose the relationship. The relationship should always be the main focus. So then it can withstand anything. It's when people make all the outside things outside of the nucleus of the relationship more important the relationship doesn't withstand so anyways my opinion it's not everybody's certain people believe that if you are not of the same religion of them or this or you don't have the same spiritual um upbringing or mindset as them that you can't have healthy relationships or you wouldn't mesh together um sometimes people 
it, it, it it's a better fit someone that's like spiritual and someone that's not because then they can intertwine together and they can balance each other out you know um they can compromise and help each other out so anyways just a thought but anyways this was a problem for somebody before okay religious factors it was a huge problem it came out in the reverse somebody has realized that that they don't feel that that has to be um such a maybe they were raised a certain way that um their belief system is that the person that they would ever be interested in or married to or have a relationship with had to be as rel religious as their belief system and now maybe that person lost that person because they realized that that other person isn't going to do that or maybe that took them away from the person that they love and now that person doesn't have them but has this had the religion and was like felt really lonely and felt like hey i just threw this love of my life away for religion and i'm not happy and i want that person back in my life i still want to be religious but i can fit them in we can compromise we can work this out so anyways that's the feeling i get from this for somebody and um it's awesome that they they've they healed these family issues that were going on. They have these beautiful romantic feelings for you. They are your true love. Because you guys have obviously been to hell and back. You're going to reconcile. Okay? So, I say congrats. This is the greatest way to end this read-off. Because it kind of went nasty there for a while. Because we had to talk about some tough stuff. And I just keep hearing tough love. Tough love. So, Somebody is going to be getting some tough love. So have a beautiful rest of your week. Get down and watch those crystal videos. I have done three videos, you guys, on crystals to help you out during this Mercury retrograde. Or you should know about crystals regardless. So I have uploaded three videos. They all have different crystals on them. They're so interesting. All the, There's stuff that you guys don't even know. So there's crystals that you probably never heard of. But go watch. You need to incorporate them I mean, especially if you're going through all this stuff right now there's so much information to help you there please watch my mercury retrograde video i broke it down to each one of your zodiacs as well to tell you how you will struggle and what you need to watch for and be careful during this time to help you out um go down to the soul sessions and start watching those go down and watch um the um I did some videos on um, transformation too, metamorphosis. Go watch that stuff, especially why everything's going on right now. Go look at the videos on the Akashic Records I did. That's going to, with all this going on, that's going to bring some insight too, okay guys? There's a lot of videos. I'm, I'm almost got 100 done, okay? So they're timeless. When you come across them, you're meant to see them. Just because it was done at a certain time and date doesn't mean that that time frame, you were in it. You are now in that time zone, that time frame, that moment for you. That's when you're divinely guided to that, okay? I've watched videos that um, readers have put up that have been a year or two years from now. And whatever was in that video was now just happening to me. And it was my life, so... You, it, it's weird how that is shown to you so anyways i purposely do my timeless for that reason because i learned a long time ago sometimes you the energy we're putting out is not the energy of what has happened yet for some people but it is coming okay um so anyways you have a blessed week be nice be kind all right give some peace out so you can get some peace forgive yourselves so you can forgive others all right and remember on our this channel we are always working on responding and not reacting okay this is something i really wanted to make one of the biggest things because it's something that i've struggled with for a long time okay um forgiving myself has always been a hard one because we make mistakes and I was a single mother several times off and on in my life and sometimes I made choices at that moment were the best I had but didn't work out in the end at all so um that is something else that I'm working on and giving my self peace is is been a challenge for myself I'm good at giving that to others and 
I'm good at forgiving others, but sometimes I'm not so good at forgiving myself. So those are the three things on our channel this next year that we are going to work on. And every year we're going to come up with three new other things that we're going to pound into the ground and move on towards working on. But this year it's peace, it's forgiveness, and um, I said, I'm losing my thoughts because I'm so stinking tired again. I said, no. Oh, Peace, forgiveness, and responding instead of reacting, okay? So I think those are three good goals for all of us in our tribe here to have. And I think we're going to work on this. We're all going to graduate from this at the end of the year in December. And then I'm going to have you guys help come up with three. I'm going to have you guys, we're going to figure out three new goals. I'm going to run a contest. Yeah. For the following year and then i'm going to pick the three best that i think um and i'm going to let you guys decide the next year what we're going to work on instead of me but it can't be the same three things that we worked on this year so anyways lots of cool things coming up and remember guys be kind do something nice it can be small it doesn't have to be big to help another person out so have a beautiful beautiful blessed week I love you guys. Thank you for being so supportive and loving and kind and being there for me as well. All right. Take care. Love you. Ciao.